Tonight, AFB takes a magical trip to the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, where we'll take in some new attractions and make some new friends. And we'll be counting down our top 20 videos until we award $250,000 to the funniest video of all time. Join us as dreams really do come true on America's Funniest Home Videos. And now, welcome the man with the keys to the kingdom, Tom Bergeron! Welcome to a special AFE from the fabulous Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando. We're here to mark the opening of the new attraction, Expedition Everest, and to celebrate an occasion as big as Everest itself. AFV is now the longest running primetime entertainment program in the history of ABC TV. <laughs> Longer than NYPD Blue, longer than The Love Boat, longer than Happy Days. And tonight, we're going to count down our top 20 videos and award $250,000 to our funniest home video of all time. But before we begin, yeah, that's worth applauding. Yes. But before we begin our countdown, let's get just a little sampling of 16 great seasons. That's about the horseshoe. See, look at that. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Wait, the helmet. Oh! See, I told you. The helmet wasn't on? No. Here we go. Up. Right. Up. start our countdown. We opened up the voting to our fans here at Walt Disney World and they ranked 20 of our funniest clips until deciding on the funniest video of all recorded time. Coming in at number 20, a little boy who will remain forever young, at least if he has anything to say about it. Our first contender for the $250,000, number 20, I don't want to grow up. I want to be this. When I grow up, I want to be a vampire bat. <laughs> a vampire bat. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't, um, uh, I'm going embarrassment. I don't want to grow up. <laughs> Thank you. 
From day one, a cornerstone of our show has been the nincompoop. Imbeciles come and go, numbskulls aren't dependable, morons rarely send in their tapes, but the nincompoop, he's always there when you need him. Lowering the bar even lower, it's our all-star nincompoop corner. This is not so much a strength test as it is an IQ test. Since he's dressed like a cheerleader, everybody give me an O! <laughs> Mini bike, major nincompoop. When they said they were going bareback riding, I thought they meant the horse. <laughs> yeah, buddy! But they were wrong when they said he couldn't hit the broad side of a barn door. Yeah. She might not be in school, but she still gets a physics lesson. Dad, this is crazy. These are the kind of people you don't want living uphill from you. Mickey! Luckily, Mountain Dave was there to make sure everything went safely. For the next clip in our countdown, we would raise a glass to this guy, but he'd probably break it. Number 19, Rocket Ball Breakthrough. Special AFE from Disney World. You know, I remember watching AFE for the very first time long before I became host. It was November 26, 1989. I'd just finished my homework. I'd put on my jammies. <laughs> what? It was a school night. Anyway, here are some of our favorites from the first season of America's Funniest Home Videos that helped put this show on the map. <laughs> Not only is the Poodle one of the smartest dogs, it's also got the best rhythm. <laughs> All hail Mr. Jingles, the first AFV superstar. <laughs> She's about to take a big divot. Unfortunately, it's on her husband. <laughs> you did it, I did it. Sometimes you bust Broncos. Sometimes it's the other way around. You're suffocating. 
Could you happening. explain the situation here? Helen, could you please give us an update on what the problem is? My hair is caught on this hook in the back of the dishwasher. You're caught in the dishwasher. Is this a correct statement? My hair is tangled around this stupid hook, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You are literally caught in the dishwasher, ladies and gentlemen. And my arm is underneath one of these wheels, and I'm getting a cramp again in my left arm. Oh, oh look at this, live on camera. <laughs> a successful This is how you get instant saddle sores. that people have nearly 10,000 taste buds in their mouth. Now this kid has every single one of them set on pucker. <laughs> Number 18, Sour Puss. Okay, now a special treat for you. You know him, you love him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Goofy and Pluto! Come over here, guys. Goofy, how are you? Pluto, Pluto. This is so exciting. Thank you for joining us on this very special evening. I really needed your help introducing these nice clips because Pluto you're a dog, and Goofy, you're Goofy. Um, so who better to help me introduce a package of Goofy Dog Clips? Come on, everybody, let's sniff some new friends. We're going to the dog park. Give her a bath. Give her a bath. Look at, she's swimming. <laughs> Look her up higher. Look her up higher. Look at her trying to swim. Put her over the toilet. Let's see if it works over the toilet. Oh, you want to take a bath? You want to take a bath? <laughs> get, a, get a little cup of water. See if she swims over that. She's swimming over the water. <laughs> she looks happy. As an undercover police dog, Casey has asked that we protect his identity. Casey. They run around. Run around. Okay. You want it? You want it? <laughs> That's <perfect>. <laughs> <laughs> With the hundreds of pinata clips we've shown over the years, it's somewhat ironic the only one to make the countdown doesn't involve an innocent bystander getting randomly whacked. Number 17, Pinata Sprinkler Surprise. Now, 
classic crotches. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Approaching Expedition Everest here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. You know, most of your outdated textbooks will tell you Mount Everest is in Nepal, but we now know it's here in Orlando. And don't let this tropical climate here on the ground fool you. Pretty cold at the top of that mountain, which is not to say we can't warm it up. <laughs> Jasmine, come back around here. Why you do that? Why did you do that? You did do it. You just did it. Come here, baby. <laughs> I don't know much about snowmobiles, but I think this voids the warranty. Oh! He might not be a gold medalist on the luge, but he's a pretty big loser. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it dog poo? Yeah, right here. Beware. Hey. No, watch out! <laughs> nice move, buddy. You just avoided it. This is the village at Expedition Everest. I am on my way to the mountain. But before I go there, I thought I might stop in here and get a gift for the little girl in our next Top 20 Countdown video. After all, it is her birthday. Number 16, happy day to do. This supply store at base camp has everything. I think I found the perfect gift for that two-year-old girl. Maybe not, but these people could have used it. Come on, make the big jump. Oh, sure, he'll go all the way to the bottom. It's just that the bottom isn't exactly where he thought it was. You all right? I must say, I believe in evolution, but this makes a good case for intelligent design. Oh, 
Hey, race you to the lodge. I'm winning! Legend has it, there is an abominable snowman on Mount Everest called the Yeti. He has long, matted hair, red, piercing eyes, a violent, erratic behavior. Very Ozzy Osbourne. Nothing frightening about the boy in this next video. I mean, how scary can you be when your greatest wish is to own a pair of pom-poms? Number 15, Cheerleader Brother. And the thing about a Walt Disney World mountain is when you get to the top, you don't have to camp out, which is good for me, because I don't know how to pitch a tent. And apparently, I'm not alone. Honey, the neighbors call. They want their tent back. It's Chuck on the feet. And right here is where we're setting up the mosh tent. Sometimes you gotta bite through the shell to get to the creamy center. Bucket. He's got the uh, cookies and donuts and everything. Looks like he got the six pack before he got the dishes. <laughs> this is a major adrenaline rush. The next woman in our countdown knows a thing or two about adrenaline. Her trip to the amusement park turned out to be for our amusement. Number 14, the slingshot heard round the world. you know about TV production, but in order to get video of me riding Expedition Everest, it costs a lot of extra money. There's the Velcro clamps for the cameras, there's the special flattering lighting and the wind-resistant microphones. Heavy outlay we're talking about, but you know what? For you, oh, it's worth it. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. That 
was some ride. I gotta tell you, I have never experienced anything like that before. I'll tell you what, why don't you watch these next videos? I have to go to Lost and Found and see if I can get back my dignity. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Watch Smokey the Bear become Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Usually they just plant a flag on top of the hill. <laughs> Canoe? Cannot. <laughs> All that equipment, and he wasn't protected the one place he needed it most. Use everything already? Yeah. <laughs> and one of the flavors featured today is disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> More classic crotches. Ooh, classic. Classic. Welcome back to the Magic Kingdom in Orlando. Our men and women in the military are trained to be very resourceful with their hands, with their minds, and as you'll see here, with a can of shaving cream and a feather. Number 13, Soldier of Misfortune. Pinocchio, the classic Disney tale of a puppet who wants nothing more than to be a real live boy. But after seeing the boys in these next videos, I bet Pinocchio would just stick to being a piece of wood with a rather large nose. <laughs> It's no wonder they go through five gallons of orange juice a day. Hey, kid, where are you going? 
Nobody leaves the game until the buzzer sounds. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Aren't you glad there's chlorine? I am. These brothers are separated by two years and a sheet of glass. <laughs> when they told him not to leave the table until he finished his dinner, he thought he found a loophole. Looks like Dusty wants to see if it's a little dusty up there. You've heard the phrase, it's a face only a mother could love. Well, in the case of this next face, I think even mom might be on the fence. Number 12, Bulldog Day Afternoon. the top 10 of our funniest videos of all time. The countdown continues on AFE. <laughs> all right, welcome back to the Magic Kingdom. When I was a kid, my mom always told me not to eat so fast. I was inhaling my food. Well, here's a kid who didn't inhale his food. He exhaled it, and it earned him the next place in our countdown. Number 11, Linguini Greeny. Is that pretzel good? Oh, that's disgusting. You totally have a piece of skin in your nose. Oh my gosh, Andy. Andy, come on. Oh, oh, it's going in and out. Oh. Pull it out. Oh, God. Oh. oh. oh there it is. No, did you get it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's more in there. It's coming. Go get it. I already got one. No, there's more, and it's coming up. <laughs> oh, 
Holy moly. <laughs> There is a reason that dogs are the most popular pets in the country. They have a great slogan. Think about it, man's best friend. Now, if cats want to make any inroads on the popular pet front, they need a snappy catchphrase, and I think I've got it. Cats, you don't have to walk us, and we poop in a box. Uh. I think he votes no on the new cat. You know you're a bad cook when you get this reaction from something that eats mice. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Look who got the new cat. Claude. <laughs> Nobody better go near the TV when Sox is watching his stories. clip so far, but things are getting serious now. We're moving into the best of the best. Here to help me kick off our top 10 videos, the mouse, the myth, the legend, Mickey Mouse! <laughs> we love being here. Thanks for inviting us over again. Now, I know you're a big fan of AFE, so why don't you tell me which uh, clip you think is going to be the funniest of all time, right? <laughs> I think you might be right. That's very good. This is definitely a mouse who watches our show. We'll find out soon if you're right, okay? But uh, right now, let's break into the top 10 in our countdown. You sure it's gonna be that one? You really think so? Okay. Number 10, dog cheats to win. In lane one, we have Jesse. In lane three, we have Killer. In lane five is Twinkie. And in lane seven, we have Oliver. When the start is ready, the race will begin. S-U-O-M-Y-E-K-C-I-M. -E now, the reason I'm spelling Mickey Mouse backward is because he's a classic, and these are our backwards classics. Get it?
Welcome back to Disney World, the place where dreams come true. And speaking of dreams coming true, we are now the longest running primetime entertainment show in the history of ABC. And do you know the show we beat in order to be number one? The Lawrence Awelka Show. Good, wholesome entertainment featuring champagne music, dancers, and the best darn accordion playing ever heard on network television. That's right. It was a wonderful, a wonderful entertainment. And here's a special a salute to, to the farmer number one of show, um, Lawrence Sewellka. A salute to Lawrence Welk. This has been a salute to Lawrence Welk. That was a really touching tribute, guys. I'd like to thank everyone who put in the long hours to make it happen. But now, let's enter an accordion-free zone. Okay, I'm gonna be a... I'm gonna have a baby boy right here. Just watch. I don't look eyeball. She don't eyeball. Hi! 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 <laughs> but how do you know when the game is over? <laughs> trip. Do a funny trip. Do something funny. <laughs> That's funny. I do this. Oh, That's funny. Let's do this. <laughs> do this. <laughs> we know her, we love her. Now get rid of her. <laughs> it doesn't come up a lot, but it's good to have this shot in your repertoire. One guy jumps out of the coffin, the other guy jumps out of his skin. <laughs> He's gonna be so proud. I think you're gonna love number nine in our countdown. It really puts a whole new spin on the concept of the home entertainment center. Number nine, Tiny Dancer. For those of you out there with little babies, I'm sure you think yours is the cutest one on the face of the planet. Well, there's only one way to find out. Go get your baby, have someone hold the baby up next to the TV, because they'll be going head to head with our cutest babies from 16 years. 
The kids ride. It is fun. Looks good. I'm not crazy about the dip. <laughs> All right, we're going to clean your nose now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. A lot of parents don't realize their baby comes with an off switch. This next video really symbolizes what we've tried to stand for here at AFE. I can sum it up in two words. Pure class. Number eight, Stinky Finger Chimp. Oh, yeah. Again with the classic crotches. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> classic. You may not know this, but thousands of people get married here at Disney World every year. We love weddings here at AFE. I've always thought that sending us your funny wedding tapes was an indication of a healthy marriage. It shows you're willing to laugh at yourself, which is vital to any successful union. And then if the marriage doesn't work out, that just means two more potential funny weddings for us. Win-win. Awkward. He's going to make someone a terrific for little wife. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. The joy and happiness double. The ceremony is one of the most important parts of the wedding day. You'll have to hear about it later. Here's one type of groom. 
And here's the other. a bad mood and you just want to be alone for a moment to compose yourself, well, here's a boy who went the opposite way and perfected the traveling tantrum. Number seven, the crying game. showcased hundreds of talented kids on this show, and yet to date, I'm not aware of any who've gone on to real stardom. Fortunately, though, show business is alive and well despite the efforts of these kids to kill it. Surprise! <sighs> Mad face. <laughs> Smiley face. George Bush. Off my game too if I had that dangling next to me. I'm gonna go play this tape for you, so if you were to stand up over there and do the Macarena, you can watch it on tape later. Um I just I just no, you said I said you said if I did it one more time. You said uh, you want to ask me and then. But that was in front of other people. Nobody's watching. Just me and the camera. Okay? No. Well, just over there on the end of the sidewalk. There, I'm taping you. This is a lap dime. I'm here at Dinosaur in Dinoland, USA. While dinosaurs lived 70 million years ago, this place is brand spanking new and it's fantastic. You know, dinosaurs and people, they never actually lived together in the same time and that's a shame. We could have had such fun together. Three feet in 
front of you. Yeah, there's a dip in the driveway and a dip in that costume. Careful. Yeah, it's still straight off yeah, the ground. Right off. <laughs> oh, you can get in the doorway, no problem. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my God! <laughs> First, he conquered Tokyo, then the Semler's bathroom. In Rusty's defense, he will protect the home against all non-battery operated intruders. <laughs> With all the crowd waiting to ride Dinosaur, I felt guilty taking somebody's place in line, so I decided to send just my head. <laughs> I got so worked up riding Dinosaur, I decided to head somewhere a little tamer at Dinorama. Finally, Abby, a ride that's more my speed. Have you ever piloted this before? Uh, one time. Really? One time? Just once? Yep, only one time. Only one time. You're doing great. Oh, OK. Setting the stage for the innocent victim, <laughs> Chase. <laughs> Looks like a goose got loose in the gorilla pit. <laughs> Would somebody call Ty Pennington? These clowns need some help. That's not a chihuahua, that's a chawiwi. I bet everybody remembers their first hit and run. This is Dino-Rama, a midway game lover's dream. And uh, I don't like to brag, but when it comes to midway games, I like to think I'm an expert. <laughs> there are so many fun things to do here at Dino-Rama. This is my favorite, the whack a pack of the whack hack a pack the whack a pack of seven. That's what I said. This next clip in the countdown, I don't have to introduce this cat can speak for itself. I so said that. Number six, Chatty Cat. Welcome back.
back to AFE here at Walt Disney World here in Orlando. You know, even though dogs descended from wolves, most of them have lost their wild instincts. It's gotten so bad for this next pooch, he's become his own natural enemy. And number five on our countdown. Dog eat dog. There are so many princesses here. Everywhere you go, there's princesses in a castle under the sea cooking for dwarves. This place is Princess Central. But if there's ever a new opening for a princess in the princess department, I'm sure these little girls would be glad to step in. Pizza's coming. Pizza's gonna be here really quick, honey. Pizza's coming. What do you say? Yay, right? Pizza. What are we having for dinner? Chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. Then you better get that towel ready, okay? Okay. I don't think you can fit under. A pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's <laughs> She got scared when you went up there. <laughs> I didn't see you go by. You okay? Huh? You okay, hon? Or'd you scare yourself? We're gonna be a brother. Yeah, give me out, give you a hug. He's on my butt. Oh, you landed on your butt? Did you hurt it? Yeah. Oh. You wanna kiss my butt? No, I hate you. That's silly. <laughs> From all the years I've been in the comedy business, I've learned one unassailable fact. Without a doubt, the banana is the funniest fruit. The only way to make a banana funnier, electrify it. Number four, fake electrocution scare. What are you doing? I'm just, I have to try this. having a great time here at the Magic Kingdom. We have only three clips left in our countdown. In a few moments, someone's going to win $250,000 and be named America's funniest home video of all time. But before we meet our three remaining clips, let's look at some videos that missed the top 20 by this much. On Halloween, some people develop a sweet tooth, some a loose tooth. It's 
the old fake poop gag. Is she coming? Is she coming yet? Hey, Mom. said she'd give her eye teeth to go skydiving. Well, she gave a lot more than that. Lower, but I can't do it no more. You can do it, Cameron. No you can do it. That's our show. Now eat our dust. I am standing here with the families whose videos are the final three in our countdown to the funniest video of all time. As you can imagine, the tension is so thick you can cut it with a knife. Before we reveal the winner, though, let's have a look at them in no particular order. First up, it's the Matthias family representing their clip, the Quad Squad. Guys, don't make me laugh now. Ready? All right, those beautiful girls have grown up a bit since that tape. Uh, we've got uh, Allison, Mom, and Dad, Steve, but I'm going to let the girls introduce themselves. What's your name? Grace. Grace. Emily. Emily. <laughs> yes. Anna. Anna and? Very clear. Very clear. Give up uh, another round of applause for the girls. And mom, you haven't aged a day. They are now, what, five years Six. old? Six years old. You don't look a day over five. <laughs> it's amazing. Now, how do you tell them apart? And pardon my arm here, OK? Because I'm their mama. Well, I know, but is there like, <laughs> someone told me that the backs of their heads are distinctive enough. Is that Well, right? I know them by the backs of their heads. Yeah. You know, if they're doing something wrong, I could call them down like that. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. And, Dad, what was it again that you were doing off camera, holding the camera, that made them laugh so much? Do you actually want to see? I actually, we, we want to see it, right? They're not going to laugh. Yeah, but we will. <laughs> <laughs> see, it still works. It still works. Well, it's great to see you again. Let me see if I can uh, get a smile out of you. <laughs> All right, next up. In our top three, it is the Taylor family and their clip, Roman Candle Canine. John 
on. Now, that was Pepper, the yes. dog, who couldn't be with us, right? That's right. You were the one running from him, right? That is correct. Yeah. Well advised. Was that the last time you ever ran from Pepper, or was that the first of many? Uh, only when he had a Roman candle. Yeah. So uh, now you, you have another dog, Salt. Yes. And how does Salt compare temperamentally? Salt hid. Salt hid. Yes. Salt is my kind of dog. Yeah. Well, good. Good to have you here with us, and give Pepper our best. Uh, yes. When you see Pepper. Okay. Now. Right now, it's time to meet the last clip vying for the title of funniest home video of all time. It's the Beverwijk family and Chainsaw Brothers. Last night, the boys stayed up late to watch Texas Chainsaw Cheerleader Massacre. This morning, we found them huddled together under the blankets in one bed, all the lights on. Dad just can't miss this kind of a chance to wake the boys up. <laughs> oh, yes. Now we have them here. One big happy family. We got mom, Donna, dad, Bernie. It's Aaron, right, who is now 24, and Nathan, who's now 21. Nathan, what was that you were yelling at the end? Uh, I asked him what was wrong with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Nathan? He was asking now, what, what was wrong with you? I mean, really, really. I mean, you're, it's amazing you're all together still. This is not an unusual occurrence at our house, really? quite practical jokes. Really, but yeah. We had told them they were too young to watch that movie. It would scare them, yeah. and obviously they did. Yeah. So Dad went out. He had a chainsaw in the garage and tried it once and now, just happened to pick up a mask <laughs> walking upstairs. Oh, you got the mask on the way up. It was Halloween. Yeah. 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 Now, Bernie, <laughs> do you ever feel guilty about doing that to your kids? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'm guessing at least a few years of therapy after yeah, that, just right? Just a couple. Uh, just a couple. Yeah. All right, well, you know, it, it's gotten you this far, yeah. right, to this very stage, mm -hmm. buying for a quarter of a million dollars. So the best of luck to you, too. All right. <laughs> All right, that's it. You've seen the top three, but only one of them is going to win $250,000 and the title of AFB's funniest video of all time. And the winner is going to be announced right after this important commercial break. Find out who will win the $250,000 and be named funniest video of all time when AFB's Top 20 Countdown continues. All right. You can feel the excitement building here on Main Street, USA. We've been counting down our top 20 clips, and we are down to the big three. Second and third place will each receive $10,000 for making it this far with a quarter of a million dollars, 250,000 going to AFB's funniest video of all time. Will it be the Quad Squad? Roman Candle Canine? Or the Chainsaw Brothers? In third place is Roman Candle Canine. Okay, an announcement this big deserves big stars, and we have five of the biggest. Give a big Walt Disney World welcome to Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Great to see you. Hello, my dear. Good to see you guys back again. 
Now, now you all shake hands with millions of people every year here at Walt Disney World. You're about to shake hands with the biggest winners in AFB history. Mickey, I know you have something special, the real envelope in your hands, if I may please. Thank you so much, Mickey. Okay, here we go. The winner of the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and the funniest video of all time is the Quad Squad! Come on down here! Come here! Oh, come on! <laughs> Congratulations! I'm gonna let the girls hug Mickey and Minnie and Mom. There's a lot of college education to get a good head start with that kind of money. It has been a great show. I'm sorry to say it's over. We'll be back soon with a new contest and new videos, all hoping to become classics. From all of us here at Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando and Mickey and me, remember, if you get it on tape, you could get it in cash. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Mickey. So much.